Are you tired of things being just a little too small? Clothes, cups, even toilets? Well, introducing Valencia Theater Seating XL line of chairs. These behemoths are specially made to fit those who enjoy living life a little bigger than the rest. Don't let being XL get in the way of your comfort. Park that dump truck in a garage worthy of its weight. Speaking of weight, wait, there's more. Each seat has two cup holders to accommodate that extra large thirst. Need something to help hold up that small mid-movie snack? The add-on tray table slides right in to hold the plate so you don't have to. Once you sit down, you'll never want to get up. Mom! The meatloaf! I don't know what she's doing up there. So stop selling yourself short for being big and tall. Check out Valencia Theater Seating's XL line today in the links below. Hey guys, welcome back to Life of Bliss. Now, as you probably know, we did just move recently and I had to take a little break. And since then, a lot of people have been asking if I'm back and I haven't really had an answer. But now, yeah, I'm thinking I'm back. All right, guys, so today we'll be taking a look at the Oslo XL seats from Valencia Theater Seating and comparing them to the Tuscany XL seats that I've had for the past nine months or so. Now, you may be thinking these are both XL seats. There can't be too much of a difference, right? Well, you'd be wrong. There is quite a bit of difference in how these feel, which I'll be getting to a little bit later in the video. Now, both of these are the two XL line of seats that Valencia offers, and these are a little bit bigger than the standard versions in almost every dimension. Now, Valencia has been a huge supporter of my channel and several other YouTube channels out there revolving around home theater, helping you guys decide which seat is going to be best for your space. So be sure to show them a little love and show them how much these videos help by liking this video, and then head on over to Instagram and follow their page, which I will link down below. And since you're there, you might as well just go ahead and follow me while you're at it. Now, I've made a video previously on the Tuscany XL Love Seat and how to assemble the seats, so I'll link that video down below if you'd like to see that in more detail, but I'll throw some specs for this arrangement for reference. We'll go over some key differences between those and the Oslo XLs, but first let's go ahead and take a detailed look at the Oslo XL theater seats. The Oslo XL is a larger version of the Oslo seat that Valencia offers. In nearly every dimension, the XL version is going to give you an extra few inches, which adds up to more real estate to plant yourself in. Going along with the bigger size, you do have the option to upgrade the weight capacity up to 400 pounds, which is up from the original weight capacity of 300 pounds. Doing this will cost you an extra $100 per seat. Now these seats are extremely comfortable and soft to the touch, being made with top grain Napa 11,000 leather and have a white diamond pattern stitching throughout. These make the seats comfortable, easy to clean, and most importantly, durable. These seats are a high traffic area for us having kids, eating snacks, and our dog Siggy. Having the Tuscany seats for roughly nine months now, I can say that these are extremely durable and there have not been any stains that I haven't been able to get up with just a little bit of water and a rag. And there's actually no marks from our dog laying on them as well. Each armrest has a gas shock which holds them up and the space inside is huge. You can literally have your own mini bar right inside. It's also big enough for laptops, gaming controllers, and other items you'd normally keep in a media room. Now this storage space is also nice to put your wine caddies or tray tables, which come out and slide into the metal mount on each armrest. Now I'm not a huge wine glass sort of guy, but these do fit a variety of glasses and securely hold them in between pinkies out. I will say that the tray table is something that I rarely go without. These are super nice for holding controllers or bowls of popcorn while watching a show, can also be used for larger items such as a laptop or iPad instead of setting them on your lap. Now Valencia often has promotions that give you one of these tray tables with the purchase of a chair, but regardless, if you're looking at getting these chairs, I would take a strong look at getting some of these tray tables. The controls on the inside of the armrest are backlit with a blue LED that, from my experience, has not been a huge distraction when watching movies. Some may find it bothersome that you cannot turn off the backlight, but hopefully Valencia will make that a feature in the near future. As far as the reclining function, these chairs have a recline, lumbar support, and headrest function that can be adjusted anywhere from fully reclined to fully upright and anywhere in between. 
These seats are a wall hugger design, so you only need roughly five inches from the wall to be able to fully recline. Now for me, the lumbar support is more than enough at its lowest setting, but there is plenty of room to adjust that if you do need some more back support. Now by far my favorite feature of these seats is the motorized headrest support. When watching a show, this takes all the strain off your neck when you're reclined. It can lift your head up for you instead of having you sit there holding your head up the entire time. Like I said, super convenient function, super comfortable, would not buy any more seats without this function in the future. Now back to the control panel, you do have a USB port for charging phones or controllers, which is a super nice feature, although I'd love to have one on the inside of the armrest storage area to get that cord away from your leg. But still a super nice feature to have right there on your seat. Now finally, you have this center button right here, which is the LED controller and home function button. When you click the button, it turns on and off the LEDs around the cup holders and under the front chairs. Now, while these look great and give off a cool vibe with the seats down, anytime you start reclining the seats, it's going to throw a very bright blue light up on the front area of the room, which is pretty distracting when you're trying to watch any shows. These are something that we do like having on, but as soon as we start watching something and reclining them, we turn the LED lights off. Speaking of the cup holders, these are plenty big to fit most of your larger cups and glasses, and also are removable to easily clean if you happen to spill something inside of them. Now going back to that home button, if you press and hold it while you're reclined, it will put the recline and headrest back to its upright position. So right now on Valencia's website, it doesn't look like there's the option to buy a single Oslo XL seat. You'd probably need to reach out to Valencia directly if you were just needing a single seat option. But for a double or love seat option, they currently retail for $24.99 with free shipping. There are several options available up to six seats in one row, so use the links down below to see if there's a configuration that will fit your area. So that pretty much covers the function and features of the Oslo XL seats. So let's dive into which of these XL seats from Valencia is going to be right for you. Now, although these do look and feel fairly similar, there are some pretty big differences depending on your size. Now, right off the bat, there's going to be a few cosmetic differences that aren't going to play a huge role in how these seats feel different, but we'll go over those real quick just for completeness sake. The Tuscany seats have all black stitching, a little smaller headrest, a more streamlined armrest, and a slightly flatter sheen of leather than the Oslo. Now again, these are a little more style than comfort, but as you can see, the armrest on the Oslo does tend to sit up on the side of the chair instead of sitting into it like the Tuscany. The Oslo has the contrasting white stitching for the diamond pattern and seat panels, whereas the Tuscany's black stitching blends in a little more while still giving you a nice pattern. And now what you're here for, how comfortable are the seats? Now for reference, I am roughly six foot four and weigh just over one eighth ton at 270 pounds, so I'm not a small guy. But keep that in mind as I'm going through things, I think you'll find that someone's height is going to have a bigger effect on how comfortable these seats are. First, the Tuscany seats have a narrower flat space with some stripes along each side and back of the seat. These tend to give me a little more snug fit in the chair compared to the completely flat seat and back of the Oslo. Both of these seats have excellent back support, and like I mentioned earlier, the lowest setting was more than enough for me. I'm not sure if it's due to the stitching pattern or by design, but the Oslo seats do feel like they have maybe another layer of padding in both the back and the seat area. Honestly, the Oslos are some of the most comfortable seats I've sat in as far as cushion and support when it's in the upright position. It's like someone took a good long look at my backside and then just molded a cloud to perfectly fit it. Creepy, but effective. Now, the Tuscanies are very comfortable themselves, but I did mention to the company rep that I think they're about one layer away from padding or cushioning to really match the comfort level of the Oslos. So the obvious choice is the Oslo, right? Well, this is where we start getting out the tape measure. For me, width is not a problem on either of these seats. The Oslo is 28 inches wide and the Tuscany is closer to 27 inches. With both chairs reclined, the lengths are similar, coming in at 40 inches for the Tuscany and almost an inch shorter for the Oslo. Still pretty comfortable for both seats. Next is where the biggest difference is and where I think you'll need to make a decision on which seat you choose, and that's the headrest height. Now, it may sound insignificant, but trust me, based on how tall you are, I really think you're gonna find one more comfortable than the other based on the headrest. When sitting upright, both of these seats are completely comfortable for me, and I actually prefer the Oslo over the Tuscany. It's when I start reclining that I notice the big difference. With the Tuscany, I can sit all the way back in the chair, my feet barely hanging over the edge, and the center of my head and neck is supported when the headrest is engaged. 
head over to the Oslo, and when I start raising the headrest, it starts pressing on my upper shoulders and neck, not making that same connection with my head as the Tuscany seats did. This makes me want to slouch more in the seat to get my head angle more comfortable and get my shoulders off the headrest, which then takes my back off the sport area and makes my feet stick out further at the bottom. So the Oslo suck, right? Well, no, not at all. Like I said, it's extremely comfortable when upright for me. This is just one of those situations where you really need to buy the right product for your size. If you are over six foot tall and especially approaching six foot four like I am, I really think you'll be more comfortable in the Tuscany XL seats. Those few extra inches on the back area before that headrest starts is really going to get your head and neck in a better position and be more comfortable overall. If you are under six foot tall and built like a tank, the Oslo XLs will probably be the more comfortable seat for you, again, due to the headrest position. Now that's not to say that either of these seats won't work for you in your situation. This is just from my experience and the feedback that I've gotten from family and friends. So if you guys are interested in these or any other seats from Valencia Theater Seating, I'll be leaving some links down in the description below. Those are free for you guys to use, helps me out, and lets Valencia know that these sort of videos are helpful. Thank you to Valencia for sending these seats out and making this sort of video possible. And if you guys could like, subscribe, and share this video, I would greatly appreciate it. Maybe there's someone that you know who is looking for some theater seats that this might help them out. I appreciate you guys watching. I hope this video helped you out, and I will see you guys soon.